Hi, I'm Paul Toll from PolTol.com, and I'm going to show you tonight um, how to do uh, a test in background. Um, first of all, my website, all kind of cool stuff, lots of games, does Amiga, Amazus games, but especially Windows games. And tonight I'm going to do a uh, tutorial date of uh, doing a test in background. Uh, when you have trouble with a specific game, and you seems to be the only one, and um, you need me to find out what the trouble is or what the problem is. Um, the forums, if you go there, when you have trouble, you always have to put that on the forums. So post a, post a problem on, uh, for example, games and then a technical support. And there you can for all the games. If it's not listed in here, then you go to others and then you create a new topic with uh, with a specific problem. Well, if, for example, here is no sound, then um, you need to do a test of background to for me to find out what's going on. Um, well, the simplest way how to do it is to uh, to go to the specific wrapper with the game installed. For example, well, what should I do? Um, Metal Gear of a uh, Me uh, Medal of Honor, for example. You, the way how to do it is to right-click the wrapper, go to Show Package Content, go to Wine Skin, click on Advanced, and then you see here a button, Test Debug. This is in wrapper version 2.5.8 at the moment. This is the view, but it's the same kind of view as 2.5.9 as well. So, when you can test the bug, you just simply click on test run. And what it does is, on the background, it will create a log file of everything what um, the, f the wrapper encounters. I'm going to play it in normal mode. So, it will start now, it will launch. You is the the question and the, the assignment to reproduce the problem, and when it crashes, that you quit it. The game. Well, here you won't have any trouble. But for example, it crashes now. Crash, and then it closes. Well, in that case. You see that it created a test run. Then you click on view and then you see two logs. Last run wine log and then last run x11 log. But 11 log, you can click away. This is what I need. This is, well, this is not important for me. I know this is uh, something with 1.3.9 um, and the most important stuff I need to know is most of the time if you get a crash it will be something like um, something with a test uh, from a debugger it will give you a debug code I need the stuff before the debug code most of the time something with an error or um, something else, a DLL missing, or etc. So that stuff you're gonna select, and you go to um, the paste bin. You're gonna search bar paste bin paste bin dot com. And there you can paste the the stuff in. And then uh, you can, uh, well, create a shortcut. And then uh, you, you would get a given code. Uh, capture. H-E-R-G. Submit is your G. And 
this is the base pin code. So if I go there, if I go Control C, and I uh, go back to the home. Uh, And I paste this in. I can see what 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 the the code is. So this saves space on the long code space on a website. So you can paste in the the log, and then I can check out what's going on. And that's why I can uh, can try to figure out what's going on. And of course, it's not always that I have the solution, but this is at least the way how you can do a test the background. So thank you for watching. Hope to see you back on Poll.com. If you love the work you do, you can always donate to my website and become a premium member and support my hard work. And yeah, spread the word and see you back on Poll.com. Bye-bye.